Om Shabbat Shalom Sendet Salam. A couple of words on the bush and the burning bush of Moses, the bush that burnt and was on fire from what Moses experienced. Moses, the author of the five books of the Hebrew Bible known as Torah or the Orit. Now, it was called the burning bush, right? The burning bush. Now, we saw an interesting movie, I think. It's the English film Exodus. It was on Channel 4 in, in England. And here we're touching on Moses and um, the fulfillment of the Yahweh or the Yahweh, the, the, the Yireh, Jehovah Jireh, prophecies in ancient Egypt because we've broken down the etymology of Ra properly out of the European institutionalized white supremacy misinterpretation of our ancient Afro-Shemitic culture. We've gone back to the Hebrew, to the rootage and getting to the roots, right? Because a tree cannot grow without its proper roots. Now here we've been touching on this particular theme, but we're going to go, we're going to segue right here to the burning bush. So Moses came across this particular picture right here, right? Or a picture similar to this, right? Of the burning bush. Now, a couple of interesting facts here as we teach the gospel of Selassie, the gospel of the King of Kings and Christ, which is Christ-centered. So even in our study of Torah or Orit on the subject matter of the burning bush, to keep it faithful to the teaching of His Majesty, it must be Christ-centered. And in that Christ-centering, we have the bush, right? The bush being burnt, right, of Moses. Now, what's very interesting is that in Genesis, we have a couple of interesting and, and thematic themes. In Genesis, one of the main themes that we have in Genesis is the theme of the sacrifice of, of Abraham's only son. Now, Abraham had a, another son, right? He had another son, but it's interesting that scripture would say Abraham's only son, the firstborn son, or the Cheru, the Cheru, the chosen son. Now, when we say Heru, we're not just saying it from a um, Afro-Shemitic based on the European Egyptology, but based on our Ethiopian roots. Now, what's very interesting is that this burning bush, I right? remember Abraham was to sacrifice his son, right? Abraham went to sacrifice his son. But even when he went to sacrifice his son, he said to his servants, he says, we will be back. So even if he had to sacrifice his son, as he had believed and was of good faith, he believed in the resurrection. Because otherwise, why would we say that we would, that we will return? But in that bush, just as he was about to slay his son, the angel, that voice and the angel prevented him, the Melaach. Right, the very pre-incarnate Son of God prevented him, right, and told him to look at the ram that was caught in the thicket. Now, that's an interesting theme. There's a ram that's caught in a bush. In the Hebrew and the Amharic, it's known as the Sobek. Sobek. Now, Sobek is a Egyptian. Um, there's an Egyptian teaching. Let's put it like that, because. We tr we're seeking to take it out of the European racist and the white supremacist and, and counterfeit Egyptology and seeking to boil it down to the real roots, the Afro-Shemitic root, because that's the half of the story. That's the, that's the melanin right there. That is, that is the life, right? That's the Adam, that, that Adam principle or Atum principle is the Adam principle. So when we think about the burning bush, right? 
even from a cannabis, a kana bosom, a kana besama, where will it women fisk do sahadu amlak? We have to recognize the lamb, right? So we have the bush was on fire, right? The bush was burning, but it was not consumed, right? It was holy ground. Now that vision, interestingly enough, points to the vision that we have that we have here in the sacrifice of Abraham. So we have a development of ideas. This is what we call growth and growing in grace, right? And growing up, right? Ionized Rastafari must grow in grace, right? Must, must grow, be as children, right? As children, that means um, to be as a child again in the new birth of the King of Kings and Christ and to grow up to him in all things as pertaining to the right faith, to the correct faith or the, the right believing, right? Or the right living, but the right living begins with the correct and the true faith of the King of Kings in Christ. So we wanted to briefly connect these ideas and go into a little more scriptural explication where we connect the dots in this summary. We're giving a brief summary here, but there are dots that really need to be connected. So we have in Genesis what's called the Akeda or the Asaro, the binding, the binding of the only son. And then the substitute being found in the bush. Now in that bush or the burning bush, it's important to recognize that the bush was burning, right? But it was not consumed. Why was it not consumed? It's because of the lamb, right? Or the ram, which was in the thicket, right? The ram, which was the substitute for Yisahak whom the seed, right, the true race in grace is called, the seed, right, shall be called, the, the seed shall be called in Yishak, the seed shall be called in Isaac. Therefore, that connection with the sacrificial type. Now, Moses, Musa, was learned in all the wisdom of the Egypts. Correctly, it is Egypt's, not of the Egyptians, but of the Egypt's. So there were certain mysteries. Now, these mysteries are connected with the sons of Noch, or the sons of the Ankh, right? The sons of Noah. So all of them were Yahweh's. This is one thing we have to really recognize. But as there was a an, an attempt to stop the birth of the Messiah, remember what it says in Genesis? It says about the two seeds. So we have these two seed lines right here. Let's see if we can bring this up right here. The two seed lines are Satan's children, Satan's sons. Uh, we have Satan's sons versus proof that Satan has children. The scriptures call them the children of disobedience. Now, this does not in truth just pertain to race. It pertains to grace or the lack thereof. And their key symbol right here, the serpent, don't tread on me. Now, this is also very Egyptian, too. If you remember the the cat cutting off the head of a pep, right, or a pothis, right? And remember the coils? It has, I think, this two or three coils, right? First world, second world, third world. New World Order, perhaps? All right, so that connection right there, human, male, human, sperm, seed, it looks like a serpent. So we have a very high development of symbology in both the Bible, but the keys are out of Egypt. So this is a little update on the burning bush Right, the tree, the tree of life, and Christ in his kingly character. So when burning the bush, right, when burning the bush, right, make sure that one recognizes Christ 
right? Otherwise, one is consumed by the fire. 